Greeting familiar face. Dialogue 1 Hello, Kate. Overtime again, are you? Yes, I've got to if I want to get a pay raise. How are things going? Everything is all right? Yes, not too bad, thanks. And you? I'm doing good, thank you. How's Jack? Oh, he's all right, but busy as usual. Maybe we could have it together sometime. Sounds like a great idea. You are the boss. Okay, I'll call you. Dialogue 2 Hi, long time no see. You haven't been sick, have you? No, I've been in America for the past month. How nice. Where were you exactly? L.A. I got back yesterday. Have you changed jobs? No, I've been visiting some relatives there. That's nice. What are you going about now? Nothing much. Same as ever. Meeting new neighbor. Dialogue 1. Nice to meet you. I am Lisa, your new neighbor. Nice to meet you, too. I am David. Where are you from, Lisa? I am from China. China is a good place. How do you like America? I like it very much. It's a good place, too. Are you used to the life and the weather in America? Frankly speaking, not yet. No problem. It's a matter of time. Oh, how time flies. It's time for me to pick up my little girl. Thanks for your time. See you next time. See you. If you have any difficulty, please don't hesitate to let me know. Dialogue 2 Nice to meet you. I am your new neighbor. Nice to meet you. Your face looks familiar to me. Let me see. Oh, you are Kate, the youngest daughter of Green. Yes, I am. May I have your name? My name is Jack Chen. Oh, you are the best friend of my father? Exactly. I have heard a lot about you. I hope it's not the bad things about me. How is your father? He is so fine. Send my best wishes to him. Thank you very much. Meeting Accidentally Dialogue 1 Jack, is this Jack, isn't it? Well, well, John. Fancy meeting you here. Small world, isn't it? Yes. What are you doing here? On business? I'm here on holiday with my wife. And you? So am I. Only yourself? No. The whole family, they are over there. Dialogue 2 I can't imagine meeting you here. Me too. So, how's the family? Oh, you didn't know. My parents got divorced. They got divorced? Yeah, my dad's shacking up with a young woman. She's almost 20 years younger than him. She's just a little older than me. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear this news. I know, it's ugly. Chatting up others. Dialogue 1. Nice day, isn't it? Yes, very good. What's the weather like in London? Just now, it's like in London, warm and sunny. Does it usually rain a lot in London? I suppose so. We get a lot of rain, but we also get good weather. Beijing can be very hot in summer. I prefer autumn. Yes, I like autumn and spring, too. Dialogue 2 Hi, may I have the pleasure of buying you a drink? Okay, thank you. How do you like vodka? I'm afraid it's too strong for me. Then I suggest you have a taste of Shanghai cocktail. That's a good idea. There is a floor show in our lobby bar. Would you like to see it? Sure, let's go.
introducing others. Dialogue one. Jack, have you met Lisa? No, I haven't. Oh, then let me introduce you to her right now. Lisa, this is my friend Jack. Nice to see you, Jack. How do you do, Miss Lisa? Glad to meet you too. I've spoken with you on the phone. Yes, I remember. Dialogue two. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Mike. Mike, this is Mr. Smith. Hello, Mike. Nice to meet you. This is my wife. Nice to meet you, sir, and a pleasure to meet you too, Mrs. Smith. Thank you. It's nice to meet your acquaintance. Have we met before? No, I don't think so. Self introduction. Dialogue one. Can I help you? Yes, I've come to apply for the position as an office secretary. I'm Smith, the clerk of Human Resources Department. What's your name? My name is Wang Fang. Mr. Smith, how do you do? Nice to meet you, Miss Wang. We have received your letter in answer to our advertisement. I would like to talk with you regarding your qualification for this interview. I'm very happy that I am qualified for this interview. Now, talk something about yourself, please. Well, my name is Wang Fang, W A N G Wang, and F A N G Fang. I was born on May seventeenth, nineteen eighty-two. Dialogue two. I believe you're Mr. Smith, aren't you? Yes, I am. How do you do? My name is Jack. I'm glad to be here. How do you do, Jack? It's nice to meet you. May I introduce myself? My name is Alice. How do you do, Miss Alice? I'm glad to meet you. How do you do? It's my pleasure to meet you. Same here. Complimenting others. Dialogue one. Good morning, John. Jogging again? Yeah. Would you like to join me? Okay. Hey, look! What a beautiful sweater you have. Do you think it looks good on me? Yes, it goes beautifully with your pants. You won't believe it, but it is really cheap. I wish I could find one just like it. You look young for your age. You're the only one who has said that. Dialogue two. I like your new coat. Do you think it fits me? Yes, it looks terrific. You look nice. I bought it at half price. You are a good bargainer. I like the color of your tie too. Thanks. You flatter me. It wasn't very expensive either. That's amazing. It sure looks expensive. You have made a good choice. Thank you for saying so. Refusing others. Dialogue one. Can I see your parents sometime tomorrow? Sorry, they are too busy these days. How about this weekend? Sorry, but that's taken too. When would they be free? Well, I'd rather not if you don't mind. Dialogue two. What do you plan to do on Sunday morning? Nothing special. How about going to English Corner with me? I don't want to go, and that's that. Why not go with me? You know, I'm poor at English, especially oral English. That's why you should go there. If you don't dare to speak English owing to being afraid of making mistakes, you simply will never master English. Festival greetings. Dialogue one. Merry Christmas. The same to you. Are you doing anything special? We're having some friends over in the evening. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to take it easy. That's a good idea. Let's sing. Okay, 
What is your favorite Christmas song? Do you mean Christmas Carol? Yep. My favorite one is Jingle Bells. I hate Jingle Bells. I prefer the Little Drummer Boy song. But that's not really a Christmas Carol. Dialogue 2 Have a nice Thanksgiving. The same to you. Are you going anywhere? I thought about going to my sister's. Good. The holiday is a time of family reunion. How about you? Oh, I'll probably just stay at home. Enjoy yourself. You too. Have a mid full Thanksgiving. Borrowing money and things. Dialogue 1. Will you do me a favor? What can I do for you? Would you mind if I borrowed your car? Well, when exactly? Next weekend. I'm sorry, but it wouldn't be possible. Monday or Tuesday of next week? Yes, I guess that would be all right. Dialogue 2. Why are you still here? I fetch my wallet, but I don't know where it is. Take it easy. In your memory, where did you see it last time? Maybe I forgot it at home. Could you lend me 100 yuan? I need to go home by taxi. Of course. Is that enough? Yes, that's very kind of you. Don't mention it. I have something urgent and I have to go in a hurry. Mind how you go. I will. Offering help. Dialogue 1. Good morning. I wonder if you could help me. Certainly, sir. What can I do for you? I need to send a fax and use the internet. Sorry, sir. Would you repeat that? Yes, I need to send a fax and use the internet. Ah, you can do that in our business center. It's on the second floor. Thanks. Is it open now? Yes, it is. Dialogue 2. You look worried. What's the problem? The copy machine doesn't work, and my printer is broken either. What a pity. Is there anything I can do for you? Can you print it for me? Of course, no problem. How many do you need? Ten copies. Okay, just five minutes. Thank you very much for helping me. Don't mention it. Making an apology. Dialogue 1. I'm terribly sorry. I really shouldn't say those words yesterday. You don't have to apologize. I don't know why I lost my temper and said so many stupid things. It was my mistake in the first place. I hope you'll forgive me for the mistake. Even if it was your mistake, I shouldn't have behaved like that. Please don't. I'll be more focused from now on. So you won't take offense at what I said yesterday? Actually, I never did. Dialogue 2 Hey, Bob, I know you will come. Is everything all right? I'm sorry I don't have the videotape ready. That's okay. I won't need it until next Friday. I'm sorry you have to make another trip. Really, that is fine. If you can have it by next Thursday, everything will be good. I think everything is going to turn out really good. I hope you will be really pleased with the final tape. Yes, I'm sure I will be. Thanks for your help. Expressing thanks. Dialogue 1. Will it work again? Yes, just have a try. I really don't know how to thank you. I'm glad I was able to help. It's very kind of you. Don't mention it. It was the least I could do. If there's ever anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I will. Dialogue 2. 
I got the job you recommended me last week. That's great. Congratulations. I really don't know how I can thank you enough. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, you are very qualified for the position. Thank you very much indeed. You helped me rebuild my self confidence. Don't mention it. You've always been good. What do you say we go out to celebrate? That would be great. Saying goodbye. Dialogue one. I'd like to say goodbye to everyone. When are you off? I'm flying home on Sunday afternoon. Well, goodbye. See you soon. Please don't forget to say goodbye to the rest of the family for me. Thanks, and say hello to your family. Dialogue two. I just dropped in to say goodbye. What time are you leaving? I'm going to try to leave by ten. Take care and give my best wishes to your parents. I will. Hope to see you again next year. Don't forget to call us if you're in London. I will. Goodbye. Asking for directions. Dialogue one. Excuse me, can you direct me to the toy department, please? It's on the seventh floor. As you get off the elevator, you'll see it on your left. Can you direct me to the elevator? Sure. Go straight ahead, and you'll walk into it. Thank you. You're welcome. Dialogue two. Excuse me, could you please tell me how to get to the railway station? Turn left at the first light. Will it take me long to get there? No, it's not far at all. Do I need to take a bus? Well, it depends. You can walk there if you are not in a hurry. Otherwise, you can take a number ten bus. Thank you. Don't mention it. Making and receiving a call. Dialogue one. Hello, can I speak to Mary, please? Hold on, please. Thank you. Hello, this is Mary. Who's that? Hi, Mary. This is Lily. I'm calling to ask you if you'd like to see the movie tonight. I'd be glad to. Well, I'm going to meet you outside the cinema at 8 p.m. It's a deal. Dialogue two. Hello. Good morning, John. Hello. Who is that speaking? It's Jane. I'm so sorry that I made such an early phone call. It's nothing. What's wrong? Did you get my note? Yes, I just got it. I'll think it over and call you back. Fine. See you later. Goodbye. Not getting the person. Dialogue one. Hello, three three two four four zero. Oh, hello, Sally. This is Will here. Could I speak to Jim, please? I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. He went out about an hour ago, and he's not back yet. Any idea when he might be back? Well, he shouldn't be long. He said he was just going to get some paint. But I wouldn't be surprised if he stopped off at the pub on the way back. Well, I'll try again later. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dialogue two. Hello. Hello. Is this four four seven four seven one six? I'd like to speak to Mr. Wong, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong is out right now. May I know when he'll be back? I don't know, but he will certainly be back for lunch. Can I take a message for him? Thank you. Please tell him to be at the airport one hour earlier before the departure time tomorrow afternoon. Very good. I'll let him know as soon as he comes back. But may I have your name, please? This is Lin Ming. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye.
Putting the call through. Dialogue 1. Hello, Dodge Automobiles. How may I direct your call? Could I have extension 239, please? Well, please hold on. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry the number's engaged. Would you care to wait, please? For how long? In a minute or two. Dialogue 2. Hello, I'd like the extension 4130, please. Sorry, the number is busy now. Will you please hold the line? No, I'll try again later. Good luck. Hello, extension 4130. Would you put me through again, please? Okay, the line is free. Just a moment. Well, it's ringing. Go ahead, please. Ending the call. Dialogue 1. Hello, I wish to speak to Linda. This is Linda speaking. This is Mary. Mary, I recognized your voice right away. I'm glad you called me. Linda, listen, um, I'm calling to ask you some questions about Jim. You know him, don't you? Sure, why are you asking about him? Well, I want to get a part-time job at his store. Oh, well, Jim's a nice guy. I mean, he'll give you decent hours, a decent wage, and plenty of breaks. Well, I suppose so, but... Oh, somebody's at the door. I'll call you back later. Bye-bye. Dialogue 2 That's a terrific story. Oh, sorry, Mary. I'd better go now. Is the boss coming by? Yeah, and I have to finish this report by three. Can we continue after that? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't talk long. I will have to go to a meeting after three. Okay, I'll let you get back to your work. I'll call you again later, okay? Okay, let's call it a day and we will continue tomorrow. Visiting someone in the hospital. Dialogue 1 Hi, May. I'm coming. I didn't see you at work this morning. Are you all right? Oh, I've got a bad cold. My head is dizzy and my nose is running. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Have you seen a doctor or taken any medicine? As a matter of fact, I have. The doctor said it'll go away after a day or two. He's prescribed me some tablets. Are you feeling better? Yes, it helps me, but I just have to wait and let my system do the work. Do you need anything? Grocery? Oh no, I'm fine. My refrigerator is piled up with food. But if it's not too much trouble for you, I'd like something to read. Sure, I'll get it for you. Books or magazines? I'd like both. Dialogue 2 Hello, Ms. Brown. I hope you're feeling better today. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm feeling much better now. I think the fever's almost gone. That's good. And you're looking well. By the way, how do you find the hospital here? Both the doctors and nurses are very nice. Good to know that. Are you allowed to have some fruit? I've brought you some oranges. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Is there anything I can do for you? No, I don't think so. Thank you. All right. I'd better not stay too long. You need more rest. I'll come again tomorrow. Please don't. I'm much better now. I know you are very busy. If you need anything, please let me know. I will. Thank you for coming and for the oranges, too. Don't mention it. Goodbye and take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Paying a private visit. Dialogue 1. Hi, Bill. I'm so glad to see you. How are you doing? Fine. I miss you so much, Uncle Jim. Me too. We haven't seen each other for years, have we? 
Yes, it's been three years now. How time flies. Now you are a young man out of a little boy. How's Aunt Deborah? Couldn't be better. How are your parents doing? Not bad. They plan to visit you next year. Really? I'll be so excited to see them. Make yourself at home. Let me make some tea for you. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Jim. Dialogue 2 Coming! Hello, I'm Mrs. Chen. This is my husband. We moved into this neighborhood last week. Nice to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Chen. Come in, please. Have a seat. Would you like some coffee? No, thanks. We'll just stay for a minute. Well, what can I do for you, then? We're having a party this Friday evening at our place, and we'd like you and your family to join us. Oh, I'd like to. But I'm not sure about my husband's schedule. He always works overtime. The party will begin at 5.30 p.m. and will probably last for three or four hours. Why don't you give me your telephone number? I'll call you tomorrow and let you know. Please do. This is our phone number. We live just across the street. Do you need any help preparing for the party, Mrs. Chen? I'm free every afternoon. That's very nice of you, but won't it be too troublesome for you? No, no trouble at all. What time is good? How about 4 p.m.? I'll be there. Treating Someone at Home Dialogue 1 Are you the guest to join the garden party? Yes, I'm from Los Angeles. The reception desk is in the best view of Building 2. Let me check your things for you. Thank you. Does the party begin at 10 o'clock? Yes, sir. You still have 40 minutes to prepare something else. The garden here is beautiful and ancient. Yes, and it is well kept, too. It really has a charm of its own. A party in the open gives a greater sense of freedom than one held in the room. I wish you a good time. Thanks a lot. Dialogue 2 Everything is ready. Please come to the dining room. Wow, what a marvelous table you've got here. I've long heard Chinese dishes are well known all over the world for their color, aroma, and taste. I hope you like my cooking. I think you are not only a good teacher, but also a good cook. Thanks for the compliment. Let's begin with chicken, which will bring luck to the guests, according to Chinese table culture. It sounds interesting. Now that I'll eat more. Please help yourself to it. Thanks. I like fried kidney best among Chinese food. Have a try of it. Well, really unusual. The fried kidney is quite tender and delicious. Birthday Party Dialogue 1 Happy birthday, Alice. Many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Thank you, Peter. Come into the dining room. I'm going to cut the cake soon. Have some sandwiches. Thanks. Who's that girl? That's Joan. She's pretty, isn't she? She likes to dance. Ask her to dance. Well, I don't know. Don't be afraid. She isn't going to bite you. Who's afraid? I'm not at all. Would you invite her to dance with you? Just a piece of cake. Dialogue 2 Look, someone is celebrating his birthday. Yeah, in America, 21 is the age when you're allowed to drink. So many guys celebrate it in bars. What did you do to celebrate your birthday in China? Nowadays, it's no difference from America. You can see many birthday parties, but in old times, we have traditional ways to celebrate it. Oh, really? Anything special? We cook long-lived noodles. And for aged people, we prepare longevity peaches for blessing. Wow, longevity peaches. What's that? They are made of wheat flour, and they look like real peaches.
Baby Party. Dialogue One. I've been meaning to ask why we have the party before the baby comes. Because the mother to be has more energy before the baby's birth. When are you due? By the end of next month, I'll be free then. Do you have any name picked out? No, I haven't got any idea. Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? I'm expecting a boy. Well, let's make a toast to the mother to be. Hope her dream will come true and have a healthy and bouncing baby. Dialogue two. These toys are lovely. Open this one. Okay, a stroller. It's from Wendy. This one will fit for all your babies. But we're only going to have one child. You'll change your mind after you have the first one. Look, there are more presents. Let me open these. Oh, a baby sleep monitor system. I love it, really. This is from my wife and me. I thought it would be helpful. I was holding off on buying this until after the shower. Well, now you can spend that money on something else. This is from Ting Ting. Oh, she shouldn't have. Housewarming party. Dialogue one. I want to invite you to a party, at our new house, and. New house, really? Yes, we've moved. That's why we're giving the housewarming party. Can you come? Well, that depends. When will it be? This Saturday evening at eight p.m. Well, I'm going away on Sunday morning very early. Will the party go on very late? Until two in the next morning. But you don't have to stay that long. What about it? All right, I'll come. But I'd like to bring a present for your new house. Nothing. I mean, don't bring anything. It is unnecessary. Dialogue two. You've got a very nice house. Really? Come on in. Our new house doesn't feel like a home yet. Well, it's good enough. Now let's take a tour of the house. I could hardly wait to have a look. Wow, your home is very beautiful. Thank you for saying so. How big is the apartment? About one hundred square meters. How do you like the neighborhood? We just moved into this neighborhood a few days ago. So far, so good. It's so quiet and peaceful here, and the air's fresh and cool. Dancing invitation. Dialogue one. Hello. Hello. This is Mike. Mike, nice to hear from you. I'm phoning to tell you that we are going to have a costume ball, and could you come to the party? I'll be glad to. When is it due? This Saturday evening. How do I make preparations for it? The hood, robe, or cloak. Anything you like. Just try to make others can't recognize you. Okay. Will the party go on very late? Until two in the morning, but you don't have to stay that long. Dialogue two. Whom are you going to invite to the party? Well, I'm certainly going to invite Mary and Susan. Yes, of course. And are you going to invite Tom? No, I don't think so. He doesn't like parties. You're wrong. Last night he dated his girlfriend and attended a party. Really? Maybe he had no way out. You were just kidding. He often enjoys a party. It's up to you. Inviting someone to the bar. Dialogue one. We're having a party in our bar tomorrow evening. Come to the party. You'll enjoy it. I'm not sure if I'm free tomorrow. If I am free, I will go to join you. It will be really interesting. There should be food, drinks, and music. Well, just wait a moment. Let me check my schedule, and I will tell you later. 
Don't forget to bring your girlfriend. I'm sorry to tell you we have broke since I was ill. Then it's really good for you to come. We may meet beautiful girls there, huh? Okay, see you tomorrow evening. Dialogue 2 There's lots of bars in Hohai. It's really nice. Yes, I knew this would be a good place for a cool beer. Let's find a good one. How about that one over there? It's got a really good view of the lake. Looks good to me. Let's try it. Let's go. Drinking in the bar. Dialogue 1. This is my first time being in a bar. How do you like this place? Sure, I love this place, especially the decoration. Yeah, what would you like? Orange juice will be fine for me. Bartender, orange juice for this lady and iced beer for me, please. Oh, fresh juice, I love it. Let me help you to hold the drink. Thank you. Dialogue 2 I thought you could have a drink. But I don't like drinking alcohol. It makes my face turn red. So what do you usually drink when you go out? Tea and juice are both fine with me. But you are in a pub right now. All the girls here know how to drink alcohol. You have to learn. Why do I have to learn? I don't like it at all. Because if you refuse to drink, people will think you are too conservative. So, in your opinion, I should have a drink, right? At least get used to it and better to have a couple of glasses. All right, I will try. Dinner Invitation Dialogue 1 Let's meet for lunch around midday. Good idea. We can try the new pizza restaurant. Yes, let's try it. I've heard that it's really good. Okay. I'll see you there just after 12. What would you like? It's up to you. How about pizza? Pizza is good, but I prefer spaghetti. Dialogue 2 Have you ever tried the Chinese restaurant at the corner? Yeah. Really? What do you think of it? Excellent. I like Chinese food very much. So do I. I like Chinese dumplings. You mean jiaozi? Yes. I like it very much. Their dumplings taste very good. I'm watering now. Let's go there for lunch. Deal. Shopping in the mall. Dialogue 1. May I see some hats, please? What size do you take? I'm sorry, I don't know. Let me measure you. Your size is 6. What color would you like? Brown, please. Here are some nice brown hats. Try this hat on. It's a very good one. Yes, I like this one. It goes very well with my coat. How much is it? It's $10. Would you like to take it? Yes, I'm glad to take it. Do you want me to put it in a box? No, thank you. I'd like to put it on now. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a watch for me. I see. What price are you interested in? The price doesn't matter, but it must be a gold watch and automatic. Hmm, something like this, perhaps. It's one of our best watches, made in Switzerland, fully automatic with a calendar. It's nice, but haven't you got anything better? Better? Better than this? Well, we have some Rolexes, probably the best watch in the world. Would you show me one, please? Yes, would you wait here for a moment, please? Okay. Shopping in the supermarket. Dialogue 1. Can you tell me where the ingredients to make Chinese food are? I will show you. Follow me. That is good of you. What do you want? 
I'm after things to stuff dumplings with, like Chinese cabbage, bean sprouts, that sort of thing. I also need some soy sauce and vinegar. The vegetables are over there, and the flavorings are here. Where's the meat counter? Over there. Dialogue two. May I see your ID? Sorry, I left it home. Do you have anything with your age on? Is driving license okay? Yes, show me, please. Here it is. Well, it's ten dollars in all, cash or card. Card. Here you are. Please input your password. Okay. Haircut and facial. Dialogue one. Good morning, sir. Take a seat, please. Thank you. I'd like to have my hair cut. How do you want it? Just a trim and cut the sides fairly short, but not so much at the back. Nothing off the top. Well, a little off the top. How about the front? Leave that as it is. Would you like a shave or shampoo? No, thanks. I can do all these things by myself. Dialogue two. Good afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? Good afternoon. I want a facial. Would you like a complete service? What does that include? Well, it includes a thorough cleansing, invigorating the skin, removing the dead cells, a massage, and a hydrating mask. That's exactly what I want. How long does it take? It takes one hour and a half. It costs you one hundred yuan altogether. If you want to make up, another ten yuan will do. Good. I'll take the facial with make up. Taking a taxi. Dialogue one. Hey, taxi. Good afternoon, madam. Get in, please. To the first elementary school, please. Okay. Bad luck. The bus is still not coming. The traffic here is really terrible. Do you want to pick up your kid from school? Yes, I am in a hurry. No problem. I'm going to take a shortcut. Dialogue two. Drive me to Kennedy Airport, please. I'm sorry, my car is taken. Where is the next taxi stand? Not far away. It's over there. Then take me there, please. But I'm just waiting for someone. You'd better walk there. Sorry for that. Parking problems. Dialogue one. You can't park here. You'll get a ticket. Parking in this business area is a nightmare. Let's look for a parking lot. We have to. There's one right over there, and ten dollars an hour. Sheer robbery. Well, do stop whining. Let's go and get the parking ticket. Dialogue two. May I park my car here? Sorry, that's not allowed. This is a private parking place only. Is there a parking lot near here? Yes, there is a parking lot just over there. There are many free parking spaces there. You can save money on parking there. Can I find a parking space there? It's hard to say. Just try your luck. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Being fined. Dialogue one. Please show your ticket. Here it is. I'm sorry to tell you that your ticket is outdated. Oh, it's impossible. I will give you a ticket. Could you please not give me a ticket? As a student, I have no much money. Sorry, this is my duty. How much do I have to pay the fine? Twenty yuan. Well, here you are. Dialogue two. Is this your car? Yes. What's wrong? It's illegally parked. Do you see the red line? Yes, but I just parked here for a few minutes. 
It's still against the law. So now what? I'm going to write you a ticket. Please, good man, let me go. Covering for someone. Dialogue one. Kite, today I have reception duties and I'm really busy. Will you help me out? What do you want me to do? I need you to cover for me at noon. I have to go out on an errand. Okay, I'll cover for you, but you have to substitute for me this Friday morning. My mother will be coming to see me, and I have to go to the airport to pick her up. Let me see. I will be free that day. It's okay with me. Great. It's a deal. Thanks a lot. I owe it to you. I won't forget it. Oh, come on. It's a fair deal. Dialogue 2. Hello, is that Sophia? Yes, it is. Who is that? It is Lucy. Where are you now? Why isn't the area code that of Beijing? I'm in Chengdu now. I planned to go back to Beijing. However, the plane is not going to take off because of the heavy fog. So I will arrive till this evening. I remembered that you would get night shift today. That is the reason that I'd like to know if you could cover for me. Sure, that's okay. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Asking for leave. Dialogue 1. May I have a word with you, Director? Certainly. What's going on? I am going to my hometown this weekend. How long will you be off work? Ten days. It is really a long time. But what for? I want to prepare my wedding. Although we are very busy these days, it is a special occasion. You have it. That's very kind of you. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Congratulations. But just make sure to turn in all the necessary paperwork to ensure there are no problems with the days you want to take off. Dialogue 2 Hello, Mr. Compton? Hi, Susan. What can I do for you? I'd like to take this Thursday off if that's all right with you. May I know the reason? You know we are really busy this week. John's sister is getting married this Thursday. Aren't you scheduled to be on call? Yes, but I switched with Mary on Monday. You know she was ill that day. So I have to... Oh, I see. Let me take a look. Well, that's no problem, Susan. You don't need to come to work on Thursday. I really appreciate it, Mr. Compton. Making business appointment. Dialogue 1. Hello, Mr. Hammer's office. This is Cindy. Hello, Cindy. This is Mr. Wong from ABC Company. I'd like to make an appointment with Mr. Hammer this week. What time is he available? Well, he is keeping busy this week. What would you like to talk to him about? About the technical cooperation. Oh, I see. This is very important. Let me check his schedule and see if he can arrange some time. Thank you. When do you have free time? Any day is fine for me. Then, shall we arrange the time on Thursday morning? For Mr. Hammer will be in the office for the whole morning. That works for me. See you then. Dialogue 2 Hi, Nick. Nice to hear from you. Hi, Mark. I'm calling to ask you about the weather there. Not good, I'm afraid. That's a pity, because I'm planning to travel there next week. I've got a meeting with a customer in your area on Tuesday of next week. Really? Well, you'll come by to see us while you're there, I hope. That's what I'm going to talking about. I hope we could arrange to meet up after that. That sounds good. When do you plan on seeing me? Could be either Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. Okay. Well, it would be best for me if you could come to see me on the Wednesday morning. Okay. I will try my best. I will call you to confirm when I get into town. Great. Talk to you then. Changing an appointment. 
Dialogue 1 I'm sorry to tell you that I have to cancel our appointment. What happened? I must meet someone at the airport this afternoon. I'm sorry to hear that. Shall we meet tomorrow afternoon? Let me see. Oh, I have another appointment that afternoon. Then how about tomorrow morning? Sorry, I will attend a meeting tomorrow morning. It seems you won't see me in this week, huh? Oh, come on, you misunderstood me. I'm really busy this week. What do you say if I call you as soon as I'm free? All right, you'd better call me soon. Dialogue 2 Hello. Hello, is this Mr. Will? Yes. This is Smith. I wonder if our meeting could be put back a day or so. Oh, let me see. Would it be possible to postpone our meeting until Wednesday? Yes, sure. Would 2.30 p.m. be convenient for you? Yes, 2.30 p.m. is fine. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Will. I will see you in your office on Wednesday afternoon. I will be there waiting for you. Keeping Appointment Dialogue 1 Hello, Mr. Buffett. Hello, young man. You are so punctual. You are flattering me. Being on time is the soul of business. What's more, I'm meeting such a big shot like you. Well, anyway, I like my guests to be punctual. Please have a seat. Thank you. So what's the purpose of your visit here? I'm here to discuss with you about several questions on monetary cooperation in East Asia. I think the cooperation will be profitable. Well. Give your reasons. Dialogue 2 Hello, Lucy. I'm afraid you have to wait a moment. When can you get to? I will be about 15 minutes late. The car is jammed before it comes to the crossroads. I guess there isn't much we can do about it. I'm really sorry. You can begin now. Don't wait for me. All right. Take it easy and drive slowly. Welcoming someone at the airport. Dialogue 1 When will you be arriving in Los Angeles, Mr. Jones? Tuesday at 3 p.m. What flight? United 603. All right, Mr. Jones. I'll meet your plane. Would you? I'd appreciate that. My pleasure. Dialogue 2 Hi, Matt. Nice seeing you again here in Shanghai. Hi, Lucy. Thank you for meeting at the airport. How was your flight? Anyhow, it's a long way to Shanghai, isn't it? It is. How many pieces of luggage do you have? Let me help with one. Oh, I can manage them myself. Thank you all the same. If you're ready, we'd better start for the hotel. Okay, let's go. I really need a good rest. Office Reception Dialogue 1 Good morning. How can I help you? I have an appointment with Mr. Smith. I am coming to send him some paperwork. May I have your name, please? Bill Dove from ABB China. Nice to meet you, Miss Dove. Have a seat. I will let him know you are here. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Hi, I'm here to see Ms. Matthews. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Whom should I say is here? My name is Wang Li. May I know what it's about? Of course for business. I spoke with her about a week ago, and she told me to just stop by when I was in the neighborhood. Please wait a moment. I'll see if she is available. Business Dinner Dialogue 1 You must be Miss Wong. I am Kelly Truman. Yes, I am Wang Lili. Just call me Lili. It's great to meet you, Mr. Truman. Thanks for suggesting a lunch meeting. I've got a hectic schedule, so this is a great way to kill two birds with one stone. Me too, and it's my pleasure. You must be wondering who my friend here is. 
I've taken the liberty of inviting my assistant, Mr. Thomas. He'll be taking a few notes. Great. Nice to meet you. It's always good to have someone to keep track of things when you're talking freely. Nice to meet you, too. Well, let's go through the buffet line, and then we can get down to business. Dialogue 2 Mr. Beck, on behalf of the Da Chuan Group, I wish to extend our warm welcome to your visit in Beijing. Thank you so much. Mr. Beck, which things give you deep impression during the time you stay in Beijing? Lots of things. Chinese long history, Chinese people's friendliness, and Chinese food, etc. Now, help yourself, please. Wow. I can say anything more than appreciate your splendid banquet. Let's propose a toast for our friendship. Thanks for your cooperation. Cheer up. Getting Promotion Dialogue 1 You work so hard, nearly every day of the week. I know, but I'm lucky compared to most people. How come? In what ways are you lucky? Because I love what I do, though I have to stay long hours. I love it as I have so much work to do while others suffer from the crisis. Very good. And I'm coming to tell you a good news that you are going to be promoted. Really? I feel excited. Am I going to be the head of the task force in Manhattan? Perhaps. But I'm not sure by now. Just wait for the appointment. Hope you will be ready when the appointment finally comes through. Okay. I'm looking forward to hearing from the Board of Administration. Dialogue 2 Mary, you are promoted to the manager of your company. Congratulations! Thanks, Jane. I was really surprised. A grand reward for job well done. Thank you. I mean, there were a lot of qualified people out there. Sure, but the work you did was really exceptional. You definitely deserved it. Thanks a lot. You are always responsible and careful. I'm sure this promotion is just a stepping stone to even greater things. Jane, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I'll try my best. Quitting the Job Dialogue 1 Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Lee. What matter, Sarah? I am sorry to say they decide to quit. Could you name some reasons? Well, my resignation is mainly for the consideration of my parents. They are old and can hardly serve themselves. I think they need a... We plan to move in a month. To be frank, your nation is really a loss to our team. I honestly hope you have a wonderful future. Best regards for your parents. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your consideration. Treasure this forever. Thank you again. Dialogue 2 I'd like to talk about my job. This is my resignation, Mr. White. I want to quit my job. What's the trouble? I think you are working well. I don't think Mark has the talent to be a leader. He pays little attention to working method. Torture to work with him. Go on. I'm all ears. Sorry. I know it is not decent to say behind his back. I'm sorry to say I can't put up with him. I decide to resign. Take a seat and cool yourself down. It shouldn't be you that decide to leave. Instead, it should be Mark to be asked to leave. Oh, really? Right. I am tired of hearing complaints about him. You will work in a friendly, united, and cooperative atmosphere soon. Thank you very much, Mr. Wheat. Don't mention it. Quiet down and get on with your work. Thank you.